Fourth or the last Leopold maneuver is called deep pelvic grip. It requires that the clinician face the woman's feet. The fingers of both outstretched hands are moved gently down the sides of the presenting part towards the pubic symphysis. If both the hands tend to converge below the presenting part when performing the maneuver, it indicates that the presenting part is floating and if they diverge, it indicates that the presenting part is engaged. The side where there is resistance to the descent of the fingers towards the pubis is called the cephalic prominence. The description of normal findings on deep pelvic grip is as follows. The findings of pollic grip are confirmed. The cephalic prominence is on the opposite side of the back, indicating that the head is well flexed and the presenting part is vertex and by inference, the cephalic prominence which is felt is the sincipit.